Hi, welcome back to another Crypto Dave video. So it's Wednesday morning and I'm doing my Master Node Shootout update video. This is for week 19. Uh, this normally would have gone out yesterday, but I've been away as I mentioned in previous videos. So apologies for the delay, but back on schedule from now on. And the good news this week is that there's nothing really to report. It's been a pretty solid a week of returns. I've had no issues with any master nodes going down. There's been no updates or anything like that required. So it's been a really uh, nice stress-free week of master node returns, which is good because I've been away the last kind of week. So it's nice that I haven't had to deal with anything while I'm away. Um, so let's jump straight in and have a look at the figures for the previous week. And if we start at the top of the week, uh, top of the list rather, uh, with Volcano as always, 1,068 Volcano worth $2.01. Uh, 71 Bulwark worth $3.80, 216 Helix worth $0.55, cents. 16,000 Linda worth $12.58, fantastic for Linda, I'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, Smart Cash, 280 Smart Cash worth $2.86, only two um, Mars Node Pounds came in uh, this week, it's just the way sometimes it happens, you get a payout just before the week starts and then one just after the, the weekends, but uh, normally we'd be expecting probably three on average, three to four on average Smart Cash, only two this last week, but it's just the way uh, the payouts fall in terms of uh, time of the day and stuff like that. And finally, Syndicate, 68 Syndicate worth $1.70. So that's a grand total this last week of $23.50. And if we jump over and have a look at the graph as always, you can see we're up a little bit on the last kind of uh, few weeks. It's been largely driven by the price of Linda and congratulations to Linda in first position. It jumped up to first position last week and has maintained uh, that position with even bigger growth uh, this last week, 102% return year to date, which is a, a fantastic um, achievement, I think. It's really in the last kind of couple of weeks that Linda has uh, jumped up. Now, what I did do uh, this week was I took a lot of my masternode returns. So I had a, just under 400,000, I think, since the beginning of the year, and I sold those when the price spiked up and then bought back uh, when the price dropped down a little bit to increase um, the stack, which will help um, for staking, you know, more coins, uh, obviously more stakes. It doesn't affect um, the coins which are locked in the kind of master node. But one of the issues with any coin where it has like a very large circulating supply, but a very low price like Linda. So I think I sold at 13 Satoshis and bought back at 11 Satoshis. Um, and you would think, well, it's only like, you know, a couple of Satoshis per kind of per coin. But when you're looking at sort of 400,000 coins, even, you know, a couple of Satoshis, that's about a 15% swing, I think it was, um, which is a huge amount. So that's one of the issues, I think, you know, if we 10x in this kind of market and Linda's around the sort of 100 odd Satoshis or something like that, it makes it a lot easier to kind of trade because, you know, the difference between 100 and 101 Satoshis is only 1%. When you're down at sort of 10 Satoshis and, and that kind of range, you know, even a one Satoshi difference in the price of the coin is a sort of 10% swing. So it does make it a little bit um, awkward to change, uh, to trade sometimes uh, with Linda. But um, yeah, I got a few new coins uh, this week. So I took advantage of that big uh, swing up in price. And it, it has pulled back a fraction since then, but it's still really kind of good gains. Uh, Helix back into second position from third. It's had a pretty strong uh, week. Uh, the price does fluctuate you know, widely on a daily basis, a very new coin, um, and there's not a lot of trading volume. So the price, you know, depending um, on the day that, you know, at the end of the kind of week when I take these prices, um, you know, it can kind of fluctuate up or down. And Syndicate's pulled back a little bit um, after a really kind of strong week, it's pulled back, but still in positive territory, uh, down in third position. And then everything else the same. So Smart Cash in fourth, uh, Volcano in fifth, and Bulwark uh, Languishing in sixth position uh, still. So the total rewards uh, this year, $392.26 now, and uh, Linda has taken over from Bulwark as the largest total of rewards. Um, so it's pretty decent kind of, um, pretty decent kind of effort. Uh, if we look at the uh, percentage rewards, we can see that uh, Linda's only down about 14, 15% so far, a lot less than some of the other coins, Helix, uh, Volcano, even Syndicate. Uh, higher than that, but because of the kind of price increase, you know, we've seen some really good uh, returns. And if we jump down here and look at the master node cost, so these master nodes would have cost us three thousand six hundred dollars as of the first of Jan this year. Currently, uh, when I did took the figures for this video, three thousand two hundred. So they're down about four hundred, but we're up about five hundred dollars on where we were last week, and that's almost entirely Linda. So Linda was about three hundred odd dollars 
in profit just purely the master loans up to 800 so uh, it's really just the kind of price of that everything else has sort of fluctuated a little bit kind of up and down but no great trends now hopefully in the next few weeks the big increase and the big run up in the price of bitcoin uh, is currently hovering around 8000 as of this morning um, and that's starting to be felt i think in some of the kind of like larger altcoins which are starting to see some uh, decent kind of gains as well now hopefully that will trickle down into some of these kind of smaller altcoins over the next few weeks and we'll start to see some kind of increases in dollar value of the kind of returns um, to go along with our uh, Masano return. So um, let's hope for a, a decent uh, increase in kind of price, something that was a little bit disturbing. It looks like Cryptopia, which was the biggest uh, exchange for some of these coins, particularly kind of Bulwark. Almost all the volume for Bulwark was on Cryptopia before it was hacked. It looks like it may have gone into administration. I just saw a tweet uh, relating to that this morning. I haven't looked into it, so I'm not sure if that is kind of true. But if it is true, it'll be a big... Um, a big kind of knock for some of these kind of coins a lot of people were hoping that uh cryptopia would get back on its kind of feet and resume trading so we'll have to keep an eye out uh, for that but it does um show us i suppose some of the kind of risk of some of these kind of smaller coins if they're only on kind of one or two sort of smaller exchanges it does mean uh, if one of those kind of exchanges hacks or, or or disappears and a huge amount of kind of trading volume can disappear which can impact the price uh, quite substantially but anyway that's it for this week thanks very much for watching um leave me any suggestions or anything like that in the comments below always nice to hear from you um and nice to hear what kind of uh mass nodes you've got running and how your uh sort of doing in this kind of kind of market so you know let me know what you kind of think what's going to happen with the market as i mentioned up to kind of eight thousand uh we'll see what happens i didn't think we'd be hit, hitting eight thousand i thought maybe we'd be hitting six thousand dollars uh this month in may but you know that increase in the last kind of week has been kind of crazy since i've been away we hit six thousand then we went up to seven thousand then uh, yesterday I think it was we hit 8,000 for the first time pulled back a little bit but then we're, we're still trading around the 8,000 mark uh, this morning so it'd be interesting to see where things go from here I imagine we'll have a little bit of a cooling off period at some point um, but yeah it'd be nice to see if we can hold on to some of those gains we've made over the last few weeks anyway that's it for this week thanks very much for watching and hopefully I will see you on the next video have a great day bye bye